Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a dropped ice cream cone cake. Here I am making the chocolate ganache, which I have colored pink. It's actually white chocolate ganache and that's going to be used in place of buttercream on our cake. You want to make sure you get all of the lumps out. If necessary, stick it in the microwave and heat it until they're melted. Now I'm going to be making my fondant for the cone portion. Knead it until it's soft enough to work with. So I actually have a video of me making fondant from scratch. I'll put a link in the description box below. Here I am kneading the coloring into the fondant. This isn't an exact process, so you just kind of add until you get the desired color. We're looking for something very similar to the color of a waffle cone, so son of a kind of a golden tan color. Here I am adding some orange and yellow to balance out that fleshy color we don't it's fleshy looking. <laughs> yeah, I add a little dark brown just to deepen the colors. I would advise that you wear gloves while you're doing this unless you want to end up with multicolored fingers, which as you can see here I have. Now I'm coloring the fondant to make my sprinkles. I just divided my dough into pieces and I'm going to color each piece a different color. You can make whatever colors you want. I picked the colors of the rainbow. My editor thought my arrangement of my colors was very interesting as you'll see here. <laughs> So I'm just going to break the fondant into small pieces. It's up to you what size. I just wanted to give this nearly realistic a scale. Roll each little piece into an oblong tube. And that's your sprinkle. Easy peasy. So dust your counter with some cornstarch or some powdered sugar because we're going to work with our fondant for our cone. You want to make sure it doesn't stick to anything, so dust it well. Roll, roll, roll. exact science you just want it much larger than your comb so that you have sufficient coverage you should probably use a larger rolling pin than I did so I'm going to use my ruler to keep my indentation straight, which I'm actually using a mascara tube for. You can use a square cutter if you have one. Anything that'll make that little indentation for you. Press it in. You want to cover your entire fondant surface with this pattern.
you can see I'm pressing down the little middle part to flatten it. Okay, so now I'm going to make my Rice Krispie cone. I already have my Rice Krispie mixed. You can take box treats, you can make your own, it's up to you. Spray your hands, so rub them with oil so that they don't stick. the cone as I can possibly make. You could also do this by using maybe a large funnel or making a large tube out of cardboard. This is just easier for me. smear some ganache onto my cone so that the fondant has something to stick to. Technically it could stick to the marshmallow by itself, but this is fun, more fun to eat later. Don't mind my baby's legs. <laughs> she is helping me. So now I'm going to cover my cone with the fondant. It doesn't have to be perfect. You want it to look as much like a waffle cone as possible. Try not to rub your pattern out, so be gentle. Cut off your excess. tears or bends you can just kind of repair with your fingers some water that I'm brushing to make it stick to itself after all that powdered sugar it's a little dry cut off your bottom any last touches and there you have your cone portion of the cake I am going to paint it with a little bit of food coloring mixed with almond extract this is completely optional but I thought it helped add some depth to the fondant so it looks just a little more realistic Now you will have to let this dry before you handle the cone. So here's my cake portion. This was baked in a hemisphere pan, a six inch hemisphere pan to be exact. So um, some people carve them, but I have the hemisphere pan, so why not use them? So here I'm leveling off my six inch rounds. Just plain six inch round cake pans, nothing special. You could do a larger version of this cake, but you would have to use larger pans and more cake and Rice Krispie and all that good stuff. I'm gonna put some ganache down to make my cake stick to my board. And I'm going to build my cake. First layer. I'm using Nutella between the layers. I typically do this with my chocolate cakes, especially for my daughter because she loves Nutella and she's a chocoholic. So instead of plain buttercream, I use Nutella. Of course, you could use ganache or buttercream, so 
So here's my next layer. Make sure it's even on the sides. Come on, you pedal. <laughs> you don't want to put too much because you don't want your cake sliding all over the place. Just enough to stick it together. And here's my dome. So now I'm gonna cover everything with ganache. A thin layer, and then refrigeration, and then a slightly thicker layer on top. It's up to you, you could also use buttercream that has been colored whatever color you choose. I used pink because the birthday girl requested it. So here's my thicker layer. Doesn't have to be perfect because it, you want it to look like ice cream. Ice cream is not perfectly smooth. I'm just shaping it at this point. Now I'm making the spilled portion where the ice cream splattered on the ground. Such a waste. <laughs> it just doesn't have to be perfect. You just make it look like it was dropped. I actually went back and removed some and made it look kind of whimsical. And I cleaned my board. I hate a messy cake board. Add your sprinkles. You can do it haphazardly. You could throw them at the cake. It's up to you. I'm a little fanatical about it, so I actually placed each sprinkle in the direction I wanted it. I probably should have just thrown them. You can add them to whatever parts you want. I just put most of them at the bottom since they started at the top. <laughs> so here is my cone. I'm putting a dowel into it so that it will stay in, on top of the ice cream. Just push it in as far as you can without going through the outside. You may have to use a shorter or longer dowel depending on the size of your cake. Don't be like me and go through the top. So I'm gonna cut off a little area for the cone to rest. You can snack on this while you look at your cake. Be perfect, just a flat surface. There's a little buttercream just to make it stick. Stick it on in there. And I'm going to apply ganache around the cone portion just to make it look like an actual ice cream scoop. You know, it has that little ruffle around the edge. Didn't have to be perfect, it's completely up to you. I would advise though that if you're gonna transport this cake, you transport it cold.
once again, you can throw these sprinkles. <laughs> There we have it, your dropped ice cream cone cake. Thanks for watching, like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon.